Hello everyone. So I am here today to begin a reading vlog. I have not done a reading vlog in a very long time. Not since, gosh, was it I think the summer when I did the reading rush. Um, I did a little bit of vlogging for that. But since then I haven't done one. So this will be fun. So I thought it would be interesting to have my boyfriend choose my TBR and do a reading vlog reading those books. So, because my boyfriend is now back at school and I miss him very much, I thought this would be a fun thing um, to just do and be able to talk to him about. I love uh, book clubs, doing quote unquote book clubs and reading books other people love and talking to them about it. So, that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm wearing his shirt in honor of the video. <laughs> So the books that he chose for me to read in February are Winter Turning by Toy T. Sutherland. This is the next book in the Wings of Fire series that we always read together. So obviously he chose this one so we can read it together. Then he chose The Martian by Andy Weir. This is actually his copy of the book. He gave this to me a while ago to read and I never read it. So he said, uh, yeah, you need to read this. And then I have Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde by Robert Louis Stevenson. This, um, he ended up picking this because he really likes a musical version of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. He really enjoys the music from that. So those are the three books I'm going to be reading in this vlog and I hope you enjoy the video. Good afternoon everyone. I am about to get started with Winter Turning by T.T. Sutherland. This is the second book in the second arc of the Winds of Fire series. And this is the first book that my boyfriend chose for me to read. So I am going to get started and I will update you when I have something to say about it. Also as a side note, I am like incredibly, incredibly excited about this book because I finished the first book in the arc, uh, or in the second arc, yesterday, and it ended on the biggest cliffhanger. So I literally was like, you know what? I'm not waiting. I'm going to start immediately. I don't even care. So I am so excited. So let's get into it. So just really quickly, I wanted to show you um, something that I do with all of this Wings of Fire books. I've done this with a couple of other books, but this seems to be the main uh, series that I do this for. I create bookmarks based on the colors of the front covers. So that's the one for Winter Turning. And um, here's another one that I made. And I just do this with paper clips and embroidery floss. And it's super easy. Um, here's Moon Rising. And it's just a fun way to customize your bookmarks to, you know, fit the book that you're reading. So I make these for my boyfriend and I. And they're just really cute and fun. So I thought it might be fun to actually show you how I make the bookmarks that go with the Wings of Fire book. So this is book three. I picked out a couple of colors here. I have, I think, four colors. You can do pretty much as many as you want. Just um, adjust how many times you wrap it around based on how many colors you do. So basically, I have a whole bunch of embroidery floss down here, but I have put all of my colors together. And then I take like two fingers or three fingers and wrap um, this around like three times or you know, two to three times, just depending on how um, fluffy you want your bookmark to be. And then I just cut at the bottom. And then I take my paper clip, and I take the, um, the loop that I've created, and I just put it through the paper clip, like this. And then I just move it around to the other side so that the, um, the part that's sticking up is the opposite of where the actual bookmark part is gonna be. And then I pick one of the colors, whichever one, cut a small piece off, and then I start to tie a knot with the piece. And once I've started my little tie, I grab my bookmark, slip the tie over the paper clip, and then I pull it really tight around the base of the paper clip, right where, you see, right where the tassel is. And then I just tie that into a knot. And 
So it'll look something like this with the kind of loop of embroidery floss. And then I just take my scissors and cut through the loop so that all the pieces are sticking out like that. And then I just trim it. I'll just trim it here so that all of the um, tops are even. And then I have a cute little bookmark that matches the book. So that's how you do it. So it's starting to get a little bit dark, but I figured I would come over by my bookshelf to talk to you about how I'm doing with winter turning. So I am currently at chapter seven, page 88. And because it is middle gray, it does go pretty quickly, but I have put a couple of hours into reading so far today. Um, I tend to get distracted when I'm reading, so I haven't, you know, spent the, the entire day reading necessarily. But I have made some progress and oh my God, I am obsessed with this book. I don't know that I love it as much as the first one, just because the first book, which is Moon Rising, this is told from the perspective of a dragon who can read minds. And it was really, really interesting to get all of those inner thoughts of all the other dragons. Um, and I felt like that really enriched the experience of reading this book. Whereas this one, this dragon doesn't have any particular special powers that we know of. Um, and he's also very, very crabby and grumpy all the time. And he's kind of insufferable. So it's kind of hard to read from his perspective at times. Um, but I am really enjoying it. This is where I'm at right now. So I've got a decent chunk of it. I should be able to finish part one by today at least. It's uh, another like 40 pages. So I will update you later if I have more to say about this. But so far, I am really enjoying it. Just not quite as much as book one in this series. Hello, good morning everyone. So it is Wednesday. I know yesterday I didn't really um, talk to you guys much. I just kind of filmed. I ended up going to a local bookshop that I really love and I picked up books 11 and 12 in the Wings of Fire series because I have been blowing through the series so fast and I didn't know when I would be able to go to the bookshop again. So I ended up picking these up just so that I have them on hand for when I'm ready to read them. So that was really fun. I had a great time. Um, one of my friends works at that bookshop, so I had a nice time chatting with her. And it was just good to get out of the house a little bit. It was a very weird day for me yesterday. But I have made progress in winter turning. I'm on page 125. I didn't get to do a ton of reading yesterday because, like I said, it was a weird day. I was busy, etc. But I would like to continue this today, and I would also like to pick up The Martian by Andy Weir because... I'm fine with reading multiple books at once. It doesn't bother me, especially when they're this different, you know, subject matter wise. So I would like to pick this one up, get started with that. And I will update you when I have something to say about either one of these books. So I am a chapter into The Martian, and there's a couple of things that I have observed so far. First of all, the writing style is 
incredibly matter of fact like he just talks about being stranded on mars in a way that is just incredibly like this is what happened this is what it is and then he says i'm fucked a lot he, he says that often um <laughs> which is kind of amusing but it's very matter of fact and it's also very I wouldn't say simplistic in the language, but it's it's not like a highbrow kind of writing style, which is fine by me. Um, so I'm enjoying it so far. I also think it's it's incredibly different from the movie. I actually saw the movie first, um, but it's an interesting dynamic seeing everything that happens played out like in the movie versus in the book. He none of it happens in real time. He's he's only um, discussing it in his logs and writing about what happened to him. So it's just an interesting, you know, change in um, how it was portrayed. But so far, I'm enjoying it, and I'm going to keep reading. So I've gotten a little bit further in The Martian, and I just wanted to talk about the way that it is written. I have had some time to collect my thoughts about it, and I have found that the narrator of the story, um, he is incredibly smart. He's an engineer and a botanist. And the, thing he, the things he's talking about are going over my head in a lot of instances because I'm not somebody who knows a lot about engineering or science or chemistry or anything like that. But he has this kind of interesting dynamic between he's really, really incredibly smart, but also he, the way he talks seems so dumbed down and he has so many just like very silly things that he says. Um, like he lives in the ha the hab of the um, spaceship and he says my little hab on the prairie which just cracks me up but um, you know he talks in a very simplistic way but he's incredibly smart so it makes for a very interesting dynamic reading it but also it's so interesting thinking about my boyfriend reading this because he is someone who would understand so much more of the engineering discussion, the chemistry and all of that, whereas I'm just kind of lost. So I am looking at it from a much more, I don't know, English kind of perspective of um, what's the storytelling like and what is the character like and, um, you know, I'm sure he looks at it that way too, but a lot of it's probably interesting to him because of the science that's going on and the description of all the different scientific things that are happening. So that's something I love about reading books that other people really enjoy is trying to put myself into their shoes and realize why they like a particular book. So that's my little two cents for right now. I'm going to keep reading. Okay, so it's incredibly dark and I feel incredibly disheveled, but oh my goodness, I just fin finished Winter Turning and I'm freaking out. I need to start the next book like immediately, but I need to wait for my boyfriend to finish it first because we've promised each other we wouldn't get ahead that much. But oh my goodness, so many things have happened. So many revelations about the world in general and the characters. Oh my god, so much has happened. I can't really go into it because it won't make sense anyway, but Suffice to say, this book was a splendid, glowing addition to the series, and I am very excited to start the next one. So that is one book out of the three for this vlog completed, and yeah, I'm going to retire for the night, and I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. It is a new day, and I am about to listen to some of the audiobook for The Martian and do some drawing. So I am approximately 100 pages into The Martian now. Last time I updated, I think I was about 50 pages in. And I'm definitely finding it a lot more intriguing now. And the more that I read it, it's getting more and more interesting. And I'm starting to get used to the language a lot more. So I'm kind of like not, you know, it's not going over my head so much anymore now that I'm understanding the basic concepts of all the things he's talking about. So I'm enjoying it a lot more now and I'm just going to do some artwork and listen to the audiobook. Hello, I'm back. I have not updated in a couple of days, but I have finished The Martian by Andy Weir, 
and I really enjoyed it. I found that as time went on throughout the book, it got better and better. And the last like 20 pages where um, Mark Watney is getting rescued from Mars was so much, so much happened. It was crazy, it was so fast paced. And I ended up absolutely loving, especially the end section. So this is a book that I was kind of unsure about for the first like 50 pages. And then as it went on, I got more and more invested and it got better and better. As I got used to the writing style and more things kept happening, it was picking up. So I ended up really, really enjoying this. So that is two books out of the three books for this vlog. I should be starting Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde soon. And I will update you when I start that. I am a couple of pages into Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde at this point and so far it definitely is an adjustment getting back into the mode of like classics and a bit more challenging or older language because I've been reading a lot of children's books lately and obviously the language isn't that you know difficult to understand so I'm trying to get back into that mode but I'm going to transfer over to listening to the audiobook and doing some art and I will update you when I have more to say about the book. So I have finished reading Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, and I have a couple of thoughts. So I was not expecting the reveal that they're the same person to be until the end, because, I mean, we're kind of, at this point, used to the idea that they're the same person, right? It's a pretty well-known story and narrative, um, so it's not really a suspense anymore. But when this was published, it wasn't obviously no one knew what was going to happen so they were trying to figure it out the whole way through the book whereas I'm kind of just waiting to hear the big reveal that I already know is going to happen. I also wasn't expecting so much of the story to surround a character that wasn't Dr. Jekyll or Mr. Hyde. The book is actually told um, third person point of view but it's kind of over the shoulder of Mr. Utterson who is a lawyer um, who is looking at Dr. Jekyll's will and seeing that it, uh, everything was left to Mr. Hyde. So that was kind of an interesting dynamic too. Like I did not expect so much of this book or this novella to be focused on the perspective of another character. I thought it was going to just center on Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. So that was very interesting. Overall, I did enjoy the story and the plot. I ended up giving it three stars just because I liked where it was going, but I also just kind of struggled to get super into it. So. Yeah, that's my thoughts on this book. Okay, so that concludes my Boyfriend Chooses My TBR slash reading vlog. I hope you enjoyed this video. I ended up reading these three books. Just to recap, it was Winter Turning, The Martian, and Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. I ended up giving this one five stars, this one four stars, and this one three stars. So it kind of went a little bit like this with my reading. But I did enjoy all of these. And they were all really interesting to talk to my boyfriend about. It was really cool reading some of his favorite books and things he's interested in um, and getting to talk to him about that. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I had a great time reading these books and taking you along with me on my reading journey. If you like these kind of videos, feel free to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!